Good morning. How are you guys? Good, excited. I'm just going to give it a check here and make sure it looks like we are, we are live. So if you're joining us, good morning and welcome to our very first, very first Be Fit Live. We have some special people with us today. Um, first of all, we have our Be Fit ambassador, Roy Montez. He oversees our BFIT programs, which encompass health and wellness throughout exchange stores and restaurants. And with him, we have Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. She's an Air Force public health leader who oversees matters of public health and consumer protection related to food safety and personal services for the exchange. She's served in the Air Force for 22 years and has been assigned to the exchange since last August. Roy, Sergeant Barry, how are you doing today? Hi, Leah, doing well, thank you. How are you? I'm good. How about you, yeah. Sergeant Barry? Yeah, thanks, Lee, for the, the introduction. So excited. Good, good. Well, I'm gonna kick it over to Roy to get you guys started. If you're if you're watching and you're just joining us, let us know where you're watching from. Um, if you have any questions for Roy throughout the broadcast, just let me know and I will be reading them aloud. All right, thanks Leah. So we know that moving, staying active, staying healthy is mission critical, mission, mission essential. So today we're gonna bring to you, along with my counterpart, Sergeant Barry, we're gonna work through a Tabata style workout, which consists of a 40 second on, 40 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest um, exercise. So this workout will consist of four movements, four exercises. It'll be the air squat as set number one. Set number two will consist of the push-up. Set number three will be an alternate reverse lunge. And set number four is going to be a plank variation, okay? So all of these movements, they're Founda the foundation uh, of these movements are something that you can build upon, you can progress and make them as challenging as you would like, or you can regress and make them as uh, a little bit less challenging uh, to your comfort, okay? So with that, uh, we're gonna start off with some dynamic stretching that can uh, twofold help us warm up the body, get the body primed, uh, so we're not starting at a full start and uh, help us stretch out some of these muscles. So Sergeant Barry, first we're gonna go with knee pulls. We'll do about five knee pulls per leg here. So we're going to hug our knee up left to our chest here. This is really gonna work out our hip flexors and psoas region. If you're stiff from sitting, uh, for long periods of time, we may be uh, working with the computer a little bit more than we uh, are used to. So this can help with uh, relieving some of that uh, mobility here. Leg uh, circles here. So from right leg, we're going to go in to outward. And left leg, alternate, please. In, out, and right leg, in to out here. So nice big circles to really open up these hips. Uh, get them ready to start moving. About, do about three more. And now let's go outward to inward. Nice big circles here. Two more per leg. Okay, let's transition into uh, what you would call monster walk, which is basically a straight leg kick, right foot alternating, touching your left hand, left hand touching your right foot. Here we're gonna feel this stretch in our hamstrings, in our posterior chain here. Three more. Go 
from here, we're gonna go into high knees. So let's lift up these legs here. Five more, two, three, four, five. Let's roll right into some of that kick here. Good, good. Three, two, one. Nice. All right, now that got our heart rate elevated. Let's move into some upper body arm circles here. So we're gonna start out small and gradually make our way larger. Five more circles. And we'll reverse now and go the opposite direction. Start small. Really loosening up our shoulders here, <clears throat> getting them ready to move. There we go. Nice and big. Three, two, one. Good. Now with our feet isolated, let's go ahead and just rotate our upper body here. We're gonna loosen up our our upper body, stretch out our back here, our thorax of our upper, upper back there. Three, two, one, good. Let's shake it out. All right, so it's a nice workout Wednesday here. I'm coming to you live from my outdoor facility and Sergeant Barry from indoor. So this workout can be done indoor or outdoor, whichever you have access to. It doesn't take a lot of movement. It doesn't take a lot of space. Uh, we'll be staying within the confines of maybe five feet. So nothing too far, not a lot of space needed. So with that, let me go ahead and get my timer. Ready. Hey Roy. Yes, ma'am. While you're doing that, before you get started, we do have a question from Julie who asks, what did you eat before this workout to stay fueled? Sure, so this morning um, I had a meal about an hour and a half ago and knowing that I was gonna work out at 11, it gave me uh, an hour and a half to two hours uh, to digest my food. I had um, egg whites, I had about four to five egg whites I had two pieces of toast and some ground turkey. So I have protein, you're looking at uh, about six grams per egg white or egg all together. I have a couple of grams of protein there. I had toast, a little bit of butter for flavor. And uh, that was my meal, uh, basically a, a nice solid, nice solid plated meal. Awesome, thank you for sharing that. <laughs> sure, sure, no problem. Now that the food is digested, uh, I wasn't heavy. I'm not feeling heavy. I'm feeling light. I'm feeling good, ready to work. Also, staying hydrated. I know it's warming up outside, so staying hydrated is key. I had a lot of water this morning as well. Yeah, we have a comment that someone noticed your aqua hydrate in the background. <laughs> well, speaking of that, I'm going to, now's a good time to take a drink mm. before we get started. One of my favorite, um, one of my favorite waters at the moment. Okay, so uh, ten, 10 seconds to start here. Again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. We're gonna start off with air squats. Okay, in nine seconds, let's shake it out. Five seconds. And let's work. Air squats, nice smooth movements. We're going to push back at our hips and squat down as if you were squatting into a chair. You want to go as far down as you are comfortable with here. So if your squat is only uh, 45 degrees here and not a uh, 90 degree, then that's okay. Less than 10 seconds here. Five more seconds of work. And time. 20 seconds of rest here. Goes by quick. 
Push-ups are going to be on the list next. So we're going to roll right into push-ups here. <clears throat> Sergeant Barry, how are you doing after those squats? Good, good. So push-ups are worried about. Got this. <laughs> Five seconds. You here got go. this for Let's sure. Let's work here. So hands are going to be shoulder width apart. You want to align your hands with your elbows, your elbows with your shoulders. Your elbows as you come down, nice and slow. They are gonna be tucked in slightly. Nice, even form. Your neck is gonna be neutral, your head neutral, and your spine is gonna make a straight line from your neck all the way down your tailbone to your ankles. Five more seconds of work here. Let's make sure we are contracting our glutes, squeezing our abs, and time. 20 seconds of rest. Doing okay? Awesome. All right. We got alternating reverse lunges coming up next. It's going to look like this. Okay, three, two, one, and let's work. Nice and smooth. The key here is to focus on which muscle group you're incorporating. So you're going to feel it a lot in your quads. As you push back up from the rear, you will incorporate your glutes and your posterior chain, your hamstrings. And you want to drive through your, through your heels on your front leg. 10 more seconds of work. There you go. Good job, Sunday. And rest. Okay, our last exercise for this round, we're gonna roll right into a high plank. A high plank. So we're just gonna hold a high plank for 40 seconds here. Two, one. Let's get ready and let's plank. So this is a great way to strengthen your core. And speaking of core, keep it nice and tight. Draw your navel in, contract your glutes. You find out how long 40 seconds is when you're in a plank position, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, halfway there, halfway there. Quick, five more seconds. Keep holding. Keep holding. And time. Okay, we've earned Good ourselves job. a minute rest. That's one round. We have three more to go. Okay, so Roy, while you're while you're resting, um, can you share? So that was done exactly as it's written correctly, right? Correct, so correct. if someone needed to modify, um, there, there are options for that, correct? Exactly, exactly. And, and we'll go through some modifications uh, on these next couple of rounds, but every, every exercise here can be modified to your comfort and to your ability. Um, you can, you can uh, be a, uh, <clears throat> an advanced, uh, fitness enthusiast, or you can just be starting out, but all of these workouts can be modified. Uh, for example, we're going to roll into an air squat. Once again, back up top in 10 seconds. And a great modification would be to grab something stable, like a chair or a wall or a pole of some sort. 40 seconds, let's work. And you can grab onto the chair to help stabilize you as well as assist as needed. Okay. That's a great way to regress the air squash. And if you wanted to progress it, 15 more seconds of work here. You can grab a band. I like the long bands here. Wrap it up and squat down. Five more seconds. And time. There we go. Okay. Push ups are coming up again. How are you doing, Sergeant Barry? Awesome. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Good, good. Push ups in three, two, one, and let's go. 
down. Up. Again, really working on engaging our core here, keeping our glutes contracted nice and tight. Down, chest to the deck, all the way up. A great modification here, again, will be to take some resist off and come up off your knees. Or if you have a chair around, 15 more seconds of work, you can come off the chair. And this will help on working your, um, your form here. Still able and time. All right, good work. Good work. Go by quick now, alternating reverse lunges. So five seconds here. Three, two, one, and let's work. Alternating reverse lunges. Step back, really engaging your quads and your glutes here. Halfway there. Me personally, I find that if I touch the muscle group that I'm working on, it allows my mind to make that mental connection. Eight seconds left. And it allows me to incorporate and isolate that muscle group that I'm using. One and time. Good job. Okay, for this back plank, or I'm sorry, for this plank variation, we're gonna roll into a side plank here, high side plank. We're down, left hand down, feet together, and rise up. Form check here that your wrist is gonna be in line with your elbow, and your elbow in line with your shoulder. Nice pillar here. Keep your core contracted. Squeeze that core here. Squeeze those glutes. You're gonna feel this in your obliques, facing down. 10 more seconds, squeeze. Eight. There we go. Two, one, and time. Good job. One minute rest. <laughs> Good work, Sergeant Bear. Good work. Great time to get some water. You have some lying around. Let's stay hydrated as the weather warms up for some of us. <laughs> and for everybody watching, so Roy, you are about halfway done or you are halfway done with the workout, correct? That is correct. So if you're watching and you have any questions <laughs> up to this point for Roy or for Sergeant Barry, um, let us know. <laughs> Please do, please do. 15 more seconds left. We'll, we'll catch our breath here. Forty, se 40 seconds of work in five, four, three, two, air squat, and go. <clears throat> and if one minute of rest is too long for you, cut that down to 45, 40 seconds, or 40 seconds on, 40 seconds off. Fifteen more seconds here. Nice and smooth. Focus here is quality, quality of reps. If your comfort is fast, feel free, beat it up. Two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest, and we'll go into our second to last set of planks. I'm sorry, of push ups. <laughs> okay, you're going to show us a modified version there. And let's work. There we go. So for those watching, if you were not able to hear that, uh, Sergeant Barry is using a modification and doing push-ups against a wall. Correct. 
18 seconds left of work here. Let's make sure we contract our chest as we raise to the top, keeping our glutes and our core tight. Five more seconds. And time. Good work. Good work. <clears throat> Okay, alternating reverse lunges are up next. In five, four, two, and let's work. <clears throat> Reminder here to push from the heels. You wanna make sure your knee is tracking over your toes, not too far forward here. and really incorporate your glute and hamstring as you raise up to that start position here. Eight more seconds. And time. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna go with the side plank. This time we'll move over to our right. Body straight on the side, hand align with the, the, the elbow, elbow with the shoulder, and forward. Let's go. Okay. Nice and straight here. Your neck, your spine, all the way through your hips, all the way to your ankles are going to be nice and straight here. Draw that navel in, squeeze those glutes. Eight more seconds. Feel that in the obliques here. Two, one, and time. All right. And one minute rest here, Lee. You guys are doing great. How are we feeling? It goes by fast. So <clears throat> the thought with limited amount of rest and a higher time to work, you're really keeping your heart rate elevated, which is key to burn those calories to stay in an anaerobic state here. Really helps with fat burn, weight loss, muscle and strength stability. All great keys that we'll need. 10 more seconds of rest here. And we're down to our air squats. Workout. What's that, Sergeant Barry? Did you have a question, or what was that? Oh, sorry. No, I was just saying it's great too if you don't have much time to work out. Exactly. Oh, absolutely. This workout alone will take us less than twenty minutes here. So it's a nice and prime. We're ready to tackle the day here. Now, if you wanted to progress this movement here, go ahead and add in a three second pause at the bottom. Down, one, two, three, back up, drive through your heels. Down, one, two, three, back up, down, one, two, three, last rep, and good. 20 seconds here. Last push up set. Last push up. Seven, six, three, two, and let's work. <clears throat> and if you're just joining us, Sergeant Barry and I are doing a 40 second on, 20 second off workout here consisting of number one, air squats, number two, push ups, number three, alternating reverse lunges, and number four, a side. I'm not, sorry, a plank variation. 10 more seconds. Keep pushing. Five, four, and time. Good work.
Good work. Oh, good yes. <laughs> all right, all Not right. Those. <laughs> okay. Got into alternating reverse lunges. In three, two, one. Now, if you're thinking maybe the alternate lunge in a body weight form is too easy, grab a dumbbell. If you have those lying around. If you don't, just go ahead and grab a gallon of water, anything with a handle, detergent, be a luggage. And let's add some resistance here. Luggage, I've never heard that one before. <laughs> Secret <laughs> tactic. Maybe it's a rucksack, I'm not sure. <laughs> Five more seconds here. And time. Awesome. All right, 20 seconds of work here. I'm sorry, of rest. And we'll go right into our plank. Our last plank. Shoulder taps here. So just like a high plank, we're going to start working right now. And our right hand will come up and touch our left shoulder here. Left hand come up, touch our right shoulder. Right hand, left shoulder. Left hand, right shoulder. Keep your core engaged nice and tight. Your glutes squeeze once again. Very minimal sway. Halfway there. Hands over your shoulders. I'm sorry, under your shoulders, rather. <laughs> Three, two, one, and time. Awesome. Good awesome job. Work. Good job. Awesome work, Sergeant Barry. Thank you. Thank you for that. That was great. You're welcome. Good workout. So that's, again, that's four rounds, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest one minute in between each set. And uh, that really allowed us to give ourselves minimal time of rest, to keep our heart rate elevated, to get that anaerobic state, and just to, to keep burning those calories while strengthening and isolating our muscles and uh, stability and things like that. So. We have one person, Roy, who says that they missed the start and did we do a warm up? Sure. So I just want to make sure that we address your question, Derek. There was a warm up, and at the end of this, you'll be able to go back and rewatch it. But, Roy, do you want to just kind of talk through what your warm up was? Sure, sure. So instead of, uh, instead of static stretching, where, where you're basically uh, leaning over to isolate one muscle group per stretch here, what we did was dynamic stretching which incorporated a full body of movements along with that muscle group of stretch. So we went first with the high knee. We did some high knee pulls. We did some monster walks where your legs are basically walking straight forward. You feel that nice stretch in your glute and your hamstring. Um, high knees to get that heart rate moving and elevated, as well as moving our, our hips, working on our mobility with our hips. We went over to, um, arm circles to really loosen up our shoulders, get them ready for those for the planks and loosen up our thoracic in our back by doing some rotation swings through our upper body. Those are the dynamic stretches that we went through. It took uh, about five to seven minutes. Now you can extend that and uh, stretch out a little further as needed, but those are the dynamic stretches that we went through. Awesome. So it looks like awesome. we don't have any other co uh, questions or comments, Roy, but um, okay. to follow up, walk us through what your nutrition would look like after this workout. What, what would you recommend right. for that? Sure. So for me, refueling is uh, after a workout, whether it's, uh, you know, this type of workout or whether you're in the gym or whether you've ran, uh, your diet may be different depending on uh, you as a person. But what mine will look like will, uh, will be about six to eight ounces of chicken breast. I'll go, I'll go ahead and mix that with some 
um, white or brown rice. So I'll have my protein, my carb, and probably mix that with either some green beans or a side salad for those uh, vitamins in the greens. Uh, that will, that'll be my full plate. Uh, if I'm still hungry after that, then I'll go ahead and make a protein shake to supplement any additional protein that I may need to uh, make sure that I'm hitting my protein intake for the day. So that'll be what I intake. If you're on post or at the exchange, or if you're on facility, um, on base, uh, you can visit the exchange where our 1,700 plus restaurants offer better for you options. So if you're able to get out to the exchange, visit our restaurant and surf through their menu, whether it's Subway or Starbucks or Qdoba, go ahead and visit them, look through their menu and they, every restaurant that we have offers uh, better for you options. So you'll be able to select a healthier, better for you version that you can find at your exchange. We're there, we're able to assist and uh, more than willing. So you're able to find those as well on base. And we have those better for you choices in the exchange, um, in the main stores and also in the express locations as well, right? Correct, correct. And if you're looking for a, a healthier snacking option, look for our program, Healthier Choices, which you can find a green tag label on our shelf in our express stores and main stores, but a healthier stacking version. And we have 450 plus options of, of snacks that you're able to choose from. We try to assist to make uh, your selections a little bit easier for you. So if you're looking for fruits or water, or maybe it's meat snacks, or maybe it's baked chips, something to that effect that you need to, to basically you know, replenish those calories that you burn, go ahead and visit the Express and look for those green healthier choice tags. Great. Thank you. Thank you for that sure, explanation. Sure. Sergeant Barry, let's check in with you. Um, do you have anything else to add or what, what will your next meal look like after this workout? No, but it's going to be a lot of food because I definitely worked out a hunger on that one. So that was good. No, I just really want to shout out you both for supporting our community. Um, as you know, fitness and wellness is a huge, important role um, in our lifestyle in the military. So um, you've given us you know, options and creativity, especially when a lot of us are working out in our living room. So, um, just thanks again for, for doing this, Roy and Leah. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us, Sergeant Barry. We really appreciate you being a trooper and coming on and, and helping Roy demonstrate what, what you know, some exchange BFIT options look like. Uh, we really appreciate you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much, Sergeant Barry, for working out with us. Anytime, anytime. Excellent. And for everybody watching, if you really enjoy these um, Be Fit Lives, let us know so we can um, figure out scheduling and if we should continue this program, just let us know. And, and Leo, one more thing that I'll, I'll go ahead and if, if you go ahead and, uh, and, and we'll, maybe we'll drop this in the comments as well, but if you visit shopmyexchange.com forward slash Be Fit, it'll take you to our exchange hub where we offer much more workouts much more nutrition uh, articles and tips and information of that nature to fulfill your health and wellness needs to help you stay mission ready and, um, and, and to help stay resilient. Exactly. Yes. We have other BFIT ambassadors that we work with. Um, yes, Sergeant Major Bell and his wife, Lisa, you'll find videos from them. Um, Correct. We also have, is it First Lieutenant Bell? Is that correct? Uh, correct. That is correct. First Lieutenant Bell. Yes, ma'am. And he's been recording some stuff for us as well. So you'll want to be sure to check out that BFIT hub page. We, we'll put the link in the comments. Yes, so if you guys don't have any other questions or Roy and, and Sergeant Barry, you don't have anything else to add, I think that this completes our first be fit live everybody thanks for joining us sergeant barry thanks for being with us today we really appreciate you ma'am thank you <laughs> that was awesome. right. thank you so right. much be safe